Here we have a problem that says if a rock is thrown upward on the planet Mars with a velocity of 10 meters per second, its height in meters after t seconds is given by the function h is equal to 10t minus 1.86t squared. And the first question is to find the velocity of the rock with t equal to a. So in a previous video, I used the limit definition of the derivative to find the derivative of this function, which we found to be 10 minus 3.72t. If you missed that video, I'll put a link um, in the corner to um, for you to go through that, finding the derivative and why we find the derivative to find the velocity. So. This is the derivative of our height function, which represents the velocity of the rock. If we're trying to find the velocity of the rock when t is equal to a, we just take a and we substitute that for our t. So plugging in a for t, we get 10 minus 3.72a. That would be the expression for the velocity of the rock when t is equal to a. For when will the rock hit the surface, keep in mind that the height represents like the height above the surface of Mars. So the rock will hit the surface when the height is back to zero. Um, it's gonna start at zero because it's being thrown upward from the, the surface essentially. Um, so let's set this height function equal to zero. So zero is equal to 10t minus 1.86t squared. To solve for t, those, the values of t where the rock is at the surface of Mars, let's um, first factor out a t since we have a t in every term. So that would be t times Sorry, yeah, t times 10 minus 1.86t is equal to zero. And then we can use the property that when we have two things that are multiplied that equal zero, we can set them equal to zero separately. So we have t is equal to zero, which is like when the rock is being thrown upward. And then we also have zero is equal to 10 minus 1.86t. So to solve for t in this equation, let's add 1.86t on both sides, which makes 1.86t is equal to 10, and then divide both sides by 1.86 to make t is equal to, grab my calculator, 10 divided by 1.86 is about 5.4 seconds. It's going to take the rock 5.4 seconds to go up and then come back down and hit the planet Mars again. Or not again, but to hit the planet Mars after it's thrown up. Okay, so that would be the answer for the second question. I'll just stick that up here, 5.4 seconds approximately. So now the last question is with what velocity will the rock hit the surface? Well, since we know that the rock is going to hit the surface after 5.4 seconds, we can plug that 5.4 in for our time in our velocity function in order to find the velocity at that time. So keep in mind that we're talking about the velocity that it will hit the surface, not the velocity that like once it hits the surface and is stopped, it's gonna stop you know, after it hits the surface. But we're looking with, like, with what velocity it's actually hitting the surface of Mars. So that would be 10 minus 3.72 times, I'll plug in 5.4 for my t in my velocity function. So multiplying that out, 5.4 times 3.72 
is 20.088. So it would be 10 minus 20.088. Which is negative ten point oh eight eight, or let's round that to um, like negative ten point one. And remember that velocity has a unit of meters per second. So there we go. Keep in mind that when you're talking about velocity. Velocity um, is both a speed and a direction. So it's usually the convention that when something is moving up, that it's moving with a positive velocity. That would be like as the rock is thrown upward. But then when it goes back down, or when it's moving down, it would be having a negative velocity. And that's why this um, negative is showing up. It's basically saying that it's just um, a speed of 10.1 meters per second, but it's moving down towards the surface of Mars, which makes sense because it has to be moving towards the surface of Mars in order to hit Mars. So there you go. I hope that this step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. I also have my email down um, in the description. If you have any other questions that you would like to see a video on, feel free to send those to my email and I'll do them as soon as I can. Also, I have a Facebook page if you would like to, um, to join and contact me there. Or, yeah. Well, thanks for watching and take care.